Michelle here, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a couple of quick things to talk about today. One is a quick review on the number seven Match Made Concealer. I've been using it for about two or three weeks now so I just wanted to share my opinions with you on that. And another one is, I don't know if you've noticed, but I am in HD. Um, I've got a brand new camera that is like better image quality, better sound quality and will just enable me to make better videos um, so that you guys can see um, more different types of videos from me really because I didn't really want to do makeup tutorials before and I was just about getting by with hair and I was just getting sick and tired of putting videos up with not very good quality so I've got a new camera so that you guys will enjoy watching me more hopefully, fingers crossed, unless I look hideous in HD <laughs> probably do <laughs> um, yeah, so now that I have told you my little like about my new toy um, I will jump straight into the review about my concealer so I bought the new number seven concealer um, because I am a match made foundation girl so I went in like however long ago and they matched my colour for me and then when it got to summertime they rematched me and I was only one shade darker I didn't get to go abroad this year <laughs> so I decided that I would buy my concealer in two colours uh, one is my winter colour which is um, warm sand it's just that one there it's like a really like dark um, beigey colour and then I decided to buy um, my summer colour as well which is deeply honey so I didn't go in I didn't get matched I just picked up the two colours that I saw I like was in boots and I was like <gasps> they've got the concealer that matches and I was like oh my god gimme 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 must buy now so I just picked grabbed the two that were my two colours and hoped for the best um so when I got home I obviously tried them on like in a desperate rush and I was really really pleased with the way they came out I mean they glide on really 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 smoothly so I was really pleased with that and blending like is I won't say non-existent but it's not difficult like I don't really need to use a brush anymore I don't really need to use a sponge I literally just pat it in with my finger and it is blended you are good to go the only con I will say really is well there's two cons one con is that um, when I've blended it into my skin if I leave it for about like two minutes after like while I'm doing the rest of my makeup it kind of creases a little bit and I think that's because it's a cream to powder finish so all I do is I just re-pat over with my finger and then that is it it doesn't budge for the whole day it doesn't fade it doesn't crease it is really really good I'm so pleased with this concealer I cannot say another good enough good things but that is the one thing that I didn't like another thing is at the moment I am wearing my deeply honey foundation um, which is my summer shade but I find for under my eyes I want to be using my winter shade so it might not always match exactly the colour foundation you're wearing at the time which I suppose could be a con um, to some people but to me it doesn't really matter because I bought two shades anyway um, but other than that I cannot say enough good things it glides on so smoothly I think I said that already it's really really easy to blend it covers blemishes beautifully like I said I've been using the warm sand for under my eyes but the deeply honey I've been using for like any um, small blemishes I've had and like it matches my foundation just beautifully it's just amazing stuff um, the reason I am ranting on about it um, so much is because I struggle so much with concealer I find that they're always a really pinky undertone and I know that that is because um, it's to you know cancel out dark circles on your eyes but I just find it doesn't blend with my skin my skin is like a yellow undertone to the absolute max um, so um, just the pink undertones they just they don't work for me and a lot of drugstore brands foundation what can sorry I keep saying foundation I mean concealer wise just they don't work for me so I was really really pleased when I saw this in boots 
to match my foundation. I think it, I just think it's a great idea. It's a brilliant idea. You can go in, pick up your shade. Don't have to worry about remembering numbers, anything like that. Is it an NWC, whatever it is? It's just great. You go in, you think, ah, deeply honey, that's the colour I am. Pick it up, and you're good to go. Another thing I really like about it is the powder finish. It just means that you don't have to set it. It sets itself. It's lovely. The only thing I would say is if you have really dry under eyes, it might not work for you. But if you're normal or oily, even better, it's going to be great for you. So in conclusion to my little rambling, excited rant of how much I love this concealer, I would definitely recommend it 100%. I think it's a great idea. I think it makes life so much easier, especially if you're a match made um, foundation girl like I am. So yeah, I just, I cannot say good, enough good things about this concealer. Um, so I hope you liked this video. I hope you are looking forward to better um, quality videos, not only in um, looks, but in content as well, hopefully. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.